What's up everybody, my name is Jake with vfx to go and today we are recreating this classic scene from The Empire Strikes Back. Now I thought this would be a really cool uh, shot to work on. It's short, um, it's not too complicated, and I've got some really cool elements that I thought we could throw together to recreate this classic scene. Today I have this really cool free download from Sketchfab of the Millennium Falcon. Now I really got inspired to do this shot because some time ago I downloaded this really cool asset pack from bigfilms.shop. It's their Astra pack. It's got this really cool variety of uh, space elements and I think I'm going to be doing some more things with it in the future. And they have this really cool collection of asteroid elements and I thought that this would be an awesome place to try them out. So I'm in Blender, again free program here that you can do it from home. And I've got the Millennium Falcon right here. This is a really cool 3D model. Uh, it's not crazy complicated or anything, but for the purposes of this shot, we don't need it to be uh, the most detailed. But this is awesome, it's especially for a free element. So let's go right into it. I actually brought in the original clip from Empire Strikes Back, and um, I'm bringing it in as a reference. On the top left view here, you can see that this is actually the camera view. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Millennium Falcon here, and I'm going to adjust it so that way it relatively... It's in relatively the same position as in the movie. So let's see here. Position and size. Kind of size it down. Make it back there. We're going to keep the camera locked off for this shot, but we're just going to be moving the Millennium Falcon and the other elements around it. Now I'm just kind of match moving everything here. Alright, I'm liking how this is looking. I've already placed a light for the sun behind it, and so our lighting should be alright. And I've put a light in the f in front of it to just give us a little bit of fill as well. But let's take a look at it, see if we could use a little more, not too much. I like the high contrast of the lighting in space, so we're going to try and recreate that as much as possible. But uh, with a little bit of fill for artistic purposes, so you can see what's going on. So I'm going to set that up to render now, and when that's done, we're going to hop over to After Effects. Alright, so we're now we're in After Effects, and I've just rendered out the file of the Millennium Falcon flying through the scene. It's rendered out as an open EXR uh, on a alpha channel. So we don't have anything around it. It's just the Falcon itself flying back and forth. And I'm really happy with the render. I didn't render it at too many, uh, at too many samples. Um, I rendered it out only at like a, like a hundred samples and ran the denoiser and the, um, I ran the denoiser, motion blur, and the fast GI approximation, and it really came out pretty great. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm not demanding a lot out of this uh, shot, so I mean, it was a pretty quick render too. But on the left, I've actually got an awesome collection from the uh, the Astra uh, collection, and what I'm opening up now is their Starfield collection. So we've, we've got all these different star fields that we can put as our background. Um, but I'm just going to go with this simple one first. I'm going to bring it in behind our falcon here. So this is what we have just dropped in as is. And I want to have a little bit of movement. So here, well, first we're going to size it down a little bit so the stars are a little more dense. And I want to put in a tiny bit of movement. There, it's not going to be a lot because it's, you know, in space. But, uh, but for the purposes of the shot, we need to have a little something going on. So here we go. All right, not too bad. Already just starting out, it's looking pretty cool. All right, now what I want to do is I'm going to take another, take another star field. Let's see, maybe this one, slightly different. I'm going to bring it into our scene. I set it to screen mode, and I'm going to size it back down so it's about the same size as the other one. I'm going to create a, a luma mat that we're only going to see this layer on. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to create a uh, luma mat. And what this is going to do is I want the star field in the background to be a little more dense in the middle because the asteroid belt that we're flying through is going to be going off in the distance. So I want everything just, I just want a little more clutter in the center of the shot going across horizontally. 
So what I'm going to do is take this and say, run it as its alpha channel. So now if I blink this on and off, you'll see a little more, yeah, it'll be a little more dense right there in the middle. I'm going to adjust the levels of it. And as always, I'm using FX console from Video Copilot so I can quickly access my f filters and plugins a little faster. And we're going to parent that to the other star field. So now that'll be moving along too. Everything's a little more dense in the middle. I like that. Now for the asteroids. Let's see, we have asteroids from the side. And this is great too. I believe the light is coming from the correct direction too. So this will be nice. But we've also got a field of them. Yeah, we're going to use this. I'm going to put this behind the falcon. Some smaller ones here. I'm going to take the asteroid field, keyframe the position. At the end of the shot, keyframe the position after that. There we go. So I want it moving pretty quickly here, so we have the sense of danger. But as you see, it kind of leaves. So I'm going to duplicate that. Take this one, move it over again, just have it repeat. Maybe size it up a little bit. Right about here, I know we have the big asteroid come by. So let's take a look and see what our options are. I like this guy, there's a lot of texture to it. This one, that's not bad. No, not bad. But I think... I think we're going to go with the first one, Asteroid 1 from the side. And what's great about this, too, is they have all these asteroids. They've got, starting up real close, they have it flying away from camera, alongside it. And then they have it just rotating in this direction, just in place. So you can reposition it however you want. <laughs> so that's a massive asteroid now. So let's size that down a little bit. Keyframe the position with... Uh, Shift Alt P if you're on a PC. And it's by, it should go by now. Drag it out to the second position. Make sure everything's linear. Looking good there. Okay. It comes in a little too fast there. But what we can do is we just adjust the keyframes so it comes out a little later. All right, let's take a look at a reference file real quick here so we can see exactly what's going on. So it, come, it does come by pretty quickly here. We see we've got a couple of asteroids in the foreground of the Millennium Falcon, but we don't really see... Yeah, we don't see the foreground pieces until about here. But I think we should probably add a little more to ours so we get that feeling of uh, claustrophobia from them. I'm going to duplicate both these layers. I'm going to drag it down this way. Stagger it a little bit. We'll flip it vertically so that way it just looks a little bit different from the other ones we're using. So, All right. Let's, uh, let's shift that over a little bit. Let's bring in another asteroid, asteroid field here. I'm going to fill in some gaps in the back. So we've got a lot of great layers going on here. Looks nice and dense. The Falcon also pulls back to avoid another one. So let's find ourselves a nice one for the foreground. Yeah, I think this was a good one. Let's size that down. I'll place it about here. By the end of the shot, it'll be, say, maybe about here. And with everything, we're going to turn on our motion blur. All right, not looking too bad. All right, I'm really happy with how this is looking right now, actually. We're going to set this up to render, and uh, we'll see how it looks. <music>
to impress me. All right, I'm really happy with how that came out. Um, for such a, a quick shot uh, to do, um, using uh, part some free elements, some paid elements, putting them together, make something really cool out of it. We've again, if you uh, if you want to check out the Astra collection from Big Films, uh, you can check out the link below. Same for the for the free download of the Millennium Falcon. If you want to check that out and give it a try yourself. If you'd like to see more, please uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications as to when uh, the next video comes out. If you like what I did, uh, I'd appreciate the like. The thumbs up is always great. And if there's a shot out there that you'd love to see me take a swing at, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to try it out and uh, see what I can do. Uh, until next time, uh, you can find us on all the socials at vfx to go Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. You can check us out on our website, vfx2go.com. And until next time, I've been Jake, and uh, we'll see what else we can recreate.